We're going to take the dirt that we collected and we're going to sift it. So I'm going to take a shovel and put some into a sieve. Sift. And you know, the, your typical kitchen strainer will work fine as well, right? Yep. We don't really need too much dirt, probably about two cups of sifted dirt. Okay. Why do you sift it? Uh, we sift it so that it's easier to pour into thin containers. So, so that, here's our okay. freshly sifted dirt. Okay. Um, and now I'm just going to put that into a container so you can see how much dirt is right. there. Okay, so now we've got dirt. Now we're going to take this container that we had sealed up before, so there's tape along these edges, and we're going to fill it with dirt. So I'm going to take a spoon and I'm going to take some of that freshly sifted dirt and pour it here. On the edge. Some more. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a second to tap mm -hmm. that dirt down. Yep, and add a little bit more. Okay. Add the rest of the dirt. Okay. Here we go. So now it's full of dirt. I'm going to take a paper towel. Get that paper towel wet. Oops, just drop it. Just drop it. Mm -hmm. Good. And then take that. Farm is full of dirt and ready to go. If this is too short right here, then mm -hmm. you could also put another piece of tape that also mm -hmm. covers over the surface. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to attach this case to the base. So to do that, here's the base piece and I'm going to actually turn that upside down. I'm going to take a piece of tape and then I'm going to take that piece of tape and I'm going to put it on the bottom part of the case, like so. Okay. Then I'm going to take this base, position it right where I want it, and take the case and set it onto that base. I'm just going to use my finger to press it in place really nicely. So then I'm going to trim uh, the extra stuff on the corners. So inside. right now, you can flip this down. It's going to do the other side as well. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this case and fold it down. Perfect. And set the tape on top. So let's fold it up. the edge. Yeah. All the way to the edge. I'm going to put this back down. And then just and then I'm going to repeat what I did on the other side. Okay. The arm is on the base. Good. So the next thing we're going to do is, in the top of this case, we're going to put in this plastic piece here. And we need that because? We need that because otherwise ants can get out through this opening right here. To do that, I'm going to take one of the tops. Right. And I'm going to take a ruler, mm -hmm. ruler, and then I'm going to use the ruler to score a line. Score that. So now I've scored a line. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to snap the plastic. Like this. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to be putting the top case uh, onto the bottom case. So to do that, first thing we need to do is remove the tape that's sitting on the top of the case. So I'm just going to peel that tape off. All right, and let's pull it down the side. Okay, then I'm going to take a strip of tape, and then I'm going to take that and I'm going to 
put it along one side of the case. And I'm going to fold it back like so. And then take this case again. I want to make sure that this hole on the case needs to line up with the hole on yeah. So now this case is attached on the left side. I'm going to tilt this down. Perfect. Spin it around. I'm going to spin the case around. Perfect. So then we're going to take the second piece and put it on the bottom case. Pull the top one out of the way. Spin that in place. Fold that down. And then I'm going to slip the top case. And Then clean up the extra tape. Do that. So then I'm going to open this up. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this piece here that we cut earlier. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to snap that into case. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be covering up the holes that are in the side of the container. So from here and here. So I'm going to take this piece of tape and I'm just going to apply it over the hole. Add water. So I'm going to open this up. My little dropper. We're going to put in about three tablespoons. Here's where it's wet, here's where it's still dry. We're going to let that get down to about here. Here's how much water we've added so far, and that's just going to spread out throughout the rest of the container. Now we're going to add the seeds and then we're going to add ants. So I'm going to open this up. I'm going to take some seeds. Take a nice pinch of those seeds and I'm just going to put those out here. Ants. Okay. I'm going to take my ants and I'm going to add those to the container. There you go. Just close that up. And those guys will run around and eventually they'll find their way into the hole and they'll start their nest. You can use a lot of different kinds of grass seeds. One that we tend to use is Kentucky bluegrass because there's a lot of uh, material that the ants can use in the seed. A lot of other seed types have a lot of uh, fluff right. around them too. Yeah, see here's one that's on the lid actually. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> All we got is s cut some seeds, though. Yep. We're going to use some aluminum foil to cover up the nest. So I'm going to take that, put it around the outside. When I'm not watching them, uh, it's nice and dark underneath. So here's our completed farm. You can see up in the top where there are uh, some seeds and ants running around, and there's the hole down to the underground. Look at it from both sides. And if you want to see what's going on underground, just lift away the cover, set that back, and uh, take a look at what's going on inside. Mm -hmm. uh, see a couple of ants in there. And put the space blanket back on. And just watch what's going on on top.